I wonder if I will be able to do the, the passage today. Pala said, I have taken care of my bodily needs. Now I will perform the rites which you have laid out for me. I wonder when she will learn to take a shit. I wonder when she's gonna learn to take a shit. Blue. I don't get it. I rolled the dice and it's C. Here we have blue and C. Blue is the color of water and of Palisade's dress, sent the sanctuary lies beneath the water, in CCC. It was there that I met Palisade of the blue dress. Even though today I am confused, the blue sea reminds me of where this all began. Palisade serves the center, so the center will protect Palisade. Okay. Now what do I do? Oh! No! Can't touch the edges! I must cross properly! Oh. Foolish Nova, you must avoid the edges! Fuck, this is difficult. You are left alone for a reason. Learn to rely on yourself. Shit. Pitiful, you are unprepared for Palisade's return. Damn it, you fucking... Incorrect. What a disappointment you are! Stop being a bitch, total fucking schnackle. No, can't touch the edges. Fuck. I'm so bad at this. Ah! Yes. Okay. Gotta... Today I learned how to eat. The soup felt warm and tingly as it went down my throat as I pour out this bow I remember that such pleasures are fleeting. Soon I will reconnect with Palisade and with the center and there will be no longer any need for wasteful activities like eating and sleeping. Soon everything will be in its proper place once again. Ah, soon. Days pass, Nova continues in her routine, helping LGBT with the farming during the day and fulfilling the palisade rites in the evening. It is strange to have a space to call her own, strange to have a set of familiar faces greeting her day after day. None of it matters, of course, Palisade will be returning any day now, but before she does, Drem Kinako approaches Nova with a proposal. Howdy, Clam Chowdy! You aren't usually awake this early. Ha <laughs> ha Roasted! <laughs> Here's the deal. Elegy says you have been a valiant warrior defending the crops from weeds and yada yada. Uh, Elegy said that about me? What did she say exactly? Now, Nova, what if you take all that skill, grit and determination and channel it into something truly extraordinary? What? Oh, the wrestling ring, of course. That's right, Nova, I'm talking about the... Dashbound beat down! Oh shit. Every week a vicious battle to see who will be crowned victor, the roar of the crowds, the glory of the fight. You want me to beat you want to beat me up? Ha <laughs> not exactly little fish candy. It's a collaboration, you see. We won't be truly hurting each other together. We'll create a marvelous spectacle. But Drem, isn't that pointless? Drem? Who is Drem? You're speaking. So, Lumbering Jack! Like a powerful tree rising from the dust, Jack represents the fertile soul enriched by the cycle of life and dust. Truly a hero for the dust bound. And in the opposite corner, in her beat down debut, the nefarious Widren Witch. Will she be able to choke out Jack's growth until she, he's nothing but a shriveled husk? Or will. Jack Lumber away with this, the crown. Find out tonight on Dashboard Beat Down. Shh. Hey, are you sure about this, Drem? I don't know if you, I'll be any good. You'll be great, Nova. Just follow my lead. Together we'll raise the crowd to hype like never before. Huh? Gonna fuck you up with a chair, bitch. Gonna fuck you up with a chair, bitch. Gonna fuck you up with a chair, bitch. Gonna fuck you up with a chair. Gonna fuck you up with the fucking chair. Gonna fuck you up with the fucking chair. Gonna. Oh, keep the shoot button held down. Release the button when the block is near me to pull your punch. Oh, okay. Okay, what? Okay. Cool. Um. Wait, 
Wow, the Weedron Witch has hit Lumbering Jack with a staggering series of blows. Can he come back from such a pounding? Ouch, fuck me. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Oh. Ouch! 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 Press... Oh. Oh, sorry. Ouch. Ouch, fuck this. Fuck. Fuck. Ah, not A, dude. Ah, fuck. Damn, bitch. It's time for the grand finale. Shoot me, I'll deflect it. Then press the shoot button before it hits you. Fuck. Amazing! Deflection shot from Lumbering Jack. That's weather on down for the count. The crowd goes wild. Oh, oh you okay? Um, uh. Mmm. <laughs> That's just for food, Nova, you know what? <laughs> Never mind, keep doing that. With the first match over, Nova leaves the ring and pays Elegy a visit at her field. That's pretty cool. Ah, bravo, Nova, bravissima! Uh, thanks, Elegy, I'm glad you were there to see it. Uh, I didn't really understand and when Drem first asked me to do it, but once I was out there... <laughs> you are natural, you... <clears throat> yeah. Are you okay? Um... I need to tell you something, Nova. Remember when you uh, first arrived here and we inherit we inherited Beatrix Rooter? One day, sooner or later, each of us here will return to the dust. That is, of course, why we are called the Dustbound. Oh. I believe that my day is coming soon. A dust lamp has uh, been growing upon my shoulder. Beatrix experienced something similar near the end. No, Elegy, it's it's all my fault. It's my job to keep this from happening. If I were able to clean this place, if I could just... Nova, Nova, we dustbound. We chose to live outside the power range of the center. Each of us had a reason for being here. We want to live on our own terms. We want to be more than just extensions of the center's ego. I, I don't understand. It's okay, Nova. We all need time to grow and figure things out properly. Um, speaking of growing, are you ready for farming? I've been slowing down lately. Hope you can pick up some of the, uh, um, the slack. Yeah. Nova walks into the fields. The act of weeding has become a familiar comfort for her, but today she feels the center's presence looming behind her, grow throwing, frowning upon her leniency. Great work, Nova, this is for you. A flower? In some cultures it is customary to shower an excellent performer with roses. You may have lost in the ring today, but you are a champion to me. Thanks, bitch. What's gonna happen now? Will this shit ever work? Oh, there's a rose there now. Pew, I threw a yellow and... An A. Today, yellow and A. Yellow, like a yolk. A to represent beginning, truly a, a, an, an, an auspicious role. Something is growing, beginning. Perhaps Palisade's body was broken, but now she may be reborn here, in her heaven. See, Psalmist thought that everything in New Delan has always existed. Not in the same form across time, I was born after all, but some Nova essence must have always existed, just as Palisade still exists in my heart. This is now. This is how I know she will return. Okay. Jesus, do I have to walk across the bridge again? Urgh! Foolish. You must avoid the edges. Fuck you. Stop. This is fucking... This is fucking annoying. Seriously, this is not so easy, bitch. Like, seriously. Ah! Got it. Today I received a rose from Elegy. Elegy, my... My friend, um, that is to say, as the rose falls away, I remember that glory and adoration are but distractions from my purpose. 
people's feelings will blow about like petals in the wind, but the center remains true across time. Thus, I must follow its path and not my own vanity. Days pass soon, Nova's second beatdown arrives, her much-hyped rematch with Lumbering Jack. Fuck, dude. You feeling limber today, Kalachki? Well, ready for your big win? I'm ready. It's the big rematch between reigning champ Lumbering Jack and his ever so persistent rival Widron Witch. Jack's been on a roll lately. Could the Willy Witch possibly oust him from his throne? Find out tonight on Dustbound Beatdown! Okay. Time for the grand finale, shoot me, but this time after the dodge, suck me up and shoot me. Wait, what? What's happening here? The the sappy camp drip Hinako are presented. There he goes, out of the ring! Sorry to say it folks, but Lumbering Jack's been resoundingly defeated! The Witheran which is the new champion! Hooray! Oh yeah, what did Jen tell me to say? Your precious hero is nothing but a sight on my thorn! Now the Wither'n shall reign supreme! Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Great work, Nova! Wait, wait, there's a commotion in the stands! Huh? This wasn't in the plan? Nova, come quick, it's Elegy! Oh no, Elegy is dying! Elegy is carried out of from the stands and laid on a soft patch of moss. An anxious crowd encircles her. Give her space, Dream Kinako cries. Nova pushes through the, to the iron circle. Elegy is writhing in agony and appears unable to speak. Nova's head throbs and throbs. This shouldn't be happening. This is wrong. Suddenly... Oh. Pa -pew! What's that? What happened? Wah! Wah! Holy musting dust! How is this possible? It can't be. Only the setter can create life from dust. Well, hello there, little baby. Incredible! It appears that Elegy has created a new life form! Okay then, Elsie, I'm gonna need you to take it down a notch. Oh yes, apologies, I was in the zone. <laughs> After some time, the excitement quiets down. Eventually, Nova makes her way back to Elegy's field. Oh, where's Mama? Here I am. Um. <laughs> Where's Mama? Here I am. Oh, <laughs> what? What? What the fuck? I want a child that can do this. <laughs> wow, good job, Ashi. Nice work. I, I made a different voice. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, hi, Nova. <laughs> I was just playing with my strange child. Elegy, I'm so glad you're up. Okay. Oh, thank you, Nova. Me too. <laughs> Say hi to your auntie Nova, Ashy Poo. Poo. Hi. I are you sure this is safe, Elegy? It's a peekaboo game. We are dust channeling, Nova. Same as when we dig for inner inner thing or when Dre Dream attacks you in the ring. I've seen enough to know that the dust is a force of corruption. Dust channeling is a way of life for the dust bound, Nova. You know that we treat dust differently than the center. Um, well, maybe you or Drem can handle playing with s such dangerous forces, but this little one... This little one must learn what we all must learn. That we are made of dust, that its power flows through us, that one day we will return to dust. Okay. I have to work too. I have work to do. Or something. Nova throws herself into weeding. 
She feels something threatening bubbling up inside, but she pushes it down, ignoring it, and works. And works and works. She's on. I need to go to Hunt Fruit Heaven. Hi there, Baba. Baba, hi. Baba. Okay, Baba is too Baba to Baba Baba. Baba Baba Baba. Okay, time to throw the dice. Boop. Oh. Boop. It's a D. D for dick. Today, red and D. An ominous sign, anger, blood, death, destruction, dust. I'm beginning to realize why so many days have passed without any sign of palisade. No word of assurance to guide my path. It was a wretched accident that Handfruit Heaven was eaten by that mangy dust creature. It's a mistake that I ever met this dustbound. It felt so good to not be alone that I've allowed myself to become split in my purpose. I have lasted over foolish fantasies of a life that could never be my own. Okay. Bap, bap, bap. I should be better at this. My focus wavered. Arf. My own weakness made Palisade disappear. The dust bound are beyond help. I am losing myself by staying here. I am Nova, the Nano Cleaner. I was created by the Sentier for a purpose. My destiny is crafted into the framework of existence. My life is not a toy for me to trifle with, not a fantasy for my own amusement. Today I pour out not a possession or a gift. Today I pour out myself. Obviously she had to go on the slide. slide. The days continue to pass. Nova spends most of her time in Handfruit Heaven, returning to Dustbound Village only to exchange her labor for food. As her solo attempts at farming have yielded only sickling and small fruits, she hopes she may be forgiven these moments of weakness. Sometimes she passes her friends in the village. Former friends. Eventually, the day arrives for her next bout with Lumbering Jack. Hey, Misumag, glad you made it. Wasn't sure if... I am indebted to the Dustbound's hospitality. I would not have survived without your help. I intend to repay that debt. Um, Nova, why does it have to be like this? You come alive in the spring. What's so wrong about letting yourself enjoy... it? What I enjoy has nothing to do with what is right. Okay, well, whatever your reasons are, I'm glad that you are here. Um... We'll fight to a deadlock, then team up against a surprise challenger, okay? Okay. Lumbering Jack has been hungry to retake his crown from the Widron Witch. Tonight his chance finally comes. That's right, everybody. It's time for Just Bound Beatdown. Okie doke. Cool. Dancing. Ah, but I'm sure great at sucking balls. Fuck. Cool. Okay, I'm going to pound the ground, use the rubble and leave behind... And I leave behind to attack me. Oh. What do you mean? Time for a big stalemate. Deflect my attack, we'll hit it back and forth. Okay. Costume party's over, nerds! What? Who would interrupt this tense standoff between Lumbering Jack and the Weirdron Witch? What's the big fucking idea, Master Stranger? Silence, worm! Look at you all, what a pitiful display! These ingominable whelps are your champions! <laughs> Only I deserve to earn the crown, for I am your true master and I have returned to claim what is rightfully mine! Yes, that's right, it is I, the center! <laughs> the center. <laughs> wow, this is fantastic! Ba 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 ba. For too long, you dustbound have flouted uh, the uh, the natural order. You roll in your filth and parade about like foolish, fucking disgusting viruses. Now hold on, the center. I am Lumbering Jack, proud member of the dustbound. You'd better think twice before you insult my people like that. 
You dare stand up to me? You a puny little sapling? <laughs> I could turn you into a kin into kindling with a snap of my finger. No matter what happens to me, the dustbound will live on. Whenever someone in Newland chooses vulnerability over domination, they are the dustbound. Whenever someone faces the fear of annihilation and fall and finds new beauty and wealth in life, they are the dustbound. Who are you to turn against my will? I created you! Maybe you did. If you created me, then you should really understand by now. I am my own being. I am compelled by my heart and my mind. You have forfeit your right to me, to all of us. By our very nature, we exist, we are beautiful, and you have no claim to us. Oh, bitch, yeah, Tom! Silence, insolent stain. This talking has gone on way too long. Prepare to fight. <laughs> oh my, what are you doing? Bah! Witcher and witch, you and I, we are both plants. For so long we have competed for the soul to grow large and strong, but I see now, at our core, we are the same. We are triumphs over life in a cold and sterile world. I, Lambrick Jack, cannot face the center alone. Please help me, together we can secure a future in which we may both grow. Oh shit, my head. Nova's blood runs cold, she hears the soft squelch of the writhing worms, feels the hot breath of Gustin Pepelum's probing tongue. The dustbound weren't there to see Mysteria Wazel wasting away alone in a dim, disheveled room. They hadn't borne the brunt of Bran Malden's endless bitter rage. Blinded by arrogance, they could never understand the true nature of the dust. See, Salmist has warned Nova about such folly. She had been warned, now the dustbound would burn would burn and Nova with them. Who can sidestep fate? There is no way forward but the centers. Stupid, disgusting, foolish. What could she have been thinking? Um. Which and which? I need to run. Jesus Christ. That was terrifying. Wait. Nova, hold on. Crump coat. Wait, I'm sorry, I didn't know that was going to happen. I know you must have been uncomfortable. Next time we'll go over everything beforehand. Next time? There's not gonna be a next time. I don't belong here, Jem. This isn't, isn't that obvious by now. And stop calling me those ridiculous food names. I'm sorry, Nova, I'm sorry. You, you don't have to wrestle uh, anymore, but that doesn't mean you don't belong here. I came here because it was my duty. I came here for Palisade. I don't know why I let you all ho rope me into these ridiculous games. Maybe I thought I could help you somehow. Maybe I thought I could show you the importance of fighting the dust. Okay, hold on. Be real, Nova. You let us take you in because you wanted us to? Nobody forced you to accept our friendship? Fine, you're right. It was my own mistake. I know that now. I failed. Palisade is never coming back and... Uh, I have only myself to blame. I can't control myself enough to stay here. I I need to leave here and continue my mission alone. You know, you know, you're being a real dusting jerk. To me, to Elegy, but also yourself. Um, I'm sorry you feel that way, Drem. I'm sorry that you've, you've been blinded to the evil that swirls around this entire village. It is crystal clear to me now. You may think you are just playing around, but messing with the dust will always lead to tragedy in the end. I've seen the effects of the dust firsthand. I know where this leads. And I wouldn't be your friend if I didn't try to warn you. If that's really how you feel, then maybe you do need to leave. Of, of course it's how I feel. I am the nano cleaner. I am the representative of the center to all of New Deland, and it's long past time for me to stop moping around and to start acting the part. After everything we've been through, I can't listen to any more of this. Goodbye, Nova. Oh. Nova, I'll miss you. Yeah, me too. Nova runs, runs and runs, far away from the village and straight back to Handfruit Heaven, and not once does she look back. So she didn't take the train, she ran? 
I'm sorry, Paula said I wasn't strong enough to fulfill the rights I... Hey, who's there? Baby! No, Ash, no, put that down now, Nova says sternly. Hey, <laughs> Auntie Nova, play! As Ash squeals, kicking and tripping over the sacred dice. Stop it, you don't know what that's for, Nova grunts as she moves towards the child. Ash Beauty giggles and runs away. Trace me, trace me, she screams. She rushes across the ritual bridge, pausing to bounce up and down wildly in the center. Come back here, bad Ash, you're being very naughty, Nova cries. Wow. Ash's smile fades as she realizes Nova is truly angry. Are we not, not naughty? Ash cries. She slips down the offering chute and runs away. And now Nova was alone. No, 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 no! Shame and anger flood through Nova, far beyond any measure of control. She bears her powers like a violent hurricane upon handfruit heaven. The ritual elements are torn apart and hurled at the exquisitely carved walls. When she is finished, nothing but rubble remains. Oh no! Well, it's not like the uh, rituals will were actually doing anything, just like rituals usually do, they don't really do anything, right? That's just how rituals usually are. Oh, she's still sickly. Maybe she needs to eat some porridge. What is she doing? Don't suicide yourself. Nova peers down the edge of the spire, below the dust storm quietly rages, unchanged. She tries to reflect on the past weeks, but it's all clouded by waves of anger. She feels an uncomfortable trickle, tickle in her throat, a strange heaviness in her legs, but ignores it. How could the dustbound live like this? How could Palisade be gone? Before she can formulate an answer, the same questions loop in her head, drowning out her thoughts. What was going on? Perhaps the center had the answers, but for now, Nova drags her weary body all the way back to center sanctuary. Okay. Alright. I hope I don't have to walk there. <laughs>